What the? Oh my gosh. What is he spraying on? It's just bug spray. Okay. I'm putting it on myself as well. Okay, good. Because I thought you were putting some poison on me or something. Dude, I would never, I would rather poison myself than poison you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Folks, it's been six months since my best pal here, Davey Gravy, has seen the Eddie Bitty. Last time he was a part of the Eddie Bitty, we dropped it off at the fiberglass shop. That was over six months ago. Mm. Are you excited to see what we've done or do you really even care at all? Yeah, I'm excited to see. We're gonna survive on this thing once it gets taken out on the water. Yeah, I've been literally thinking about you every single sheet of fiberglass I lay. I'm like, I will not be the reason Davey Gravy sinks in a boat. Just make sure there's a insurance agreement that I sign before we take it out on the water. So if we do sink, you're not liable for me. I'm liable for signing the contract. We're Just not, keep easing, keep easing back. We're squeezing. Ah! Squeezing nipples. Tell me your honest opinion. Wow. The motor. Yeah. Impressive. You like that? I like it. Four stroke. Yep. Four of them. Four of them. There you go. Check the front flip in. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> How's this gonna work? Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Step up. You can do it. <laughs> Should I go left foot down, then right foot up? Yeah, sure. It's kind of hampered at the moment. It's got a rupture ACL. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Do you not remember the last time it was like a Woo! football drill just trying to walk up and down oh the my boat? Gosh, what do we got going on in We're here? We're just breathing in fiberglass. Oh my gosh. Honest opinion. What do you think? I think it's looking great. Oh shoot. What's going on? Where'd you get that shirt? You can squad.com. No, that. they don't sell that. <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> Bro. What's going on? Where in the world did you find this? Got it from this magical website right here. It's kind of crazy. I feel like whoever's selling those is probably trying to fund a boat project or something. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. There you go. So, a couple videos back, we pulled the itty bitty, jacked it up, pulled it off this trailer. The trailer is not in the best condition. We got crappy axles, crappy bunks, crappy tires, crappy bearings. Long story short, we realized that this trailer is not gonna give us the support we need to travel the country. We found a man who said he can build us a custom trailer. We can choose whatever we want, and he can build it to fit this boat because there's no real trailers out that fit a itty bitty. Everything is in working order right here. <laughs> so I'm here with my good buddy Alex. We just met. We're tearing stuff up already. It's been a, been a blast. But we are at Sale Trailers. They make custom trailers. They're gonna be helping us make an itty bitty trailer. Such a weird boat. I don't, have you seen the boat? Uh, I saw the trailer. I haven't seen the boat. The trailer's terrible. Yeah, the trailer was pretty bad. I drove it like three hours on it and terrifying dude hit a bump one time thought it was all over for me and a family of four behind me but okay. we're fine no worries yeah. yeah you guys have been making some leeway on the trailer it looks fantastic man yeah it's good man so what is kind of the, the thinking behind the trailer we had a, a little piece of paper with your hole size and so we needed to get a certain amount of dip and then from there we'll just adjust the uh the risers that'll go on it later to, to match your hole okay that's the only the part that i've seen of your boat is like right. the, the different curves in your, your hole. It's a weird hole. We can... I don't know why it's so hard not to look at it, but whenever they say don't look at the, the little welding portion, I just want to look so bad. Alex is going to spend probably the next two, three weeks fine tuning the trailer. It's actually going to be galvanized, so we're going to send it off in three weeks. They're going to send it back, put on the tires, put on the lights, put on everything that's going to make this thing the perfect trailer to carry our baby girl, the itty bitty. Boat trailers aren't cheap, bud. 
This one looks like it's seen its final days. Which is why today's video is brought to you by Deal Dash. For those of you who don't know, Deal Dash is a leading auction site. To be honest, it's some of the coolest auctions I've ever seen. Wow. You can place bids at DealDash.com or the app. They have hundreds of auctions every day. That thing went right up the rectum, did it not? Yeah, I felt real good. <laughs> Dude, watch. Dude, don't do it again. <laughs> All auctions start at zero bucks. Shipping is always free. And you get a 90-day guarantee on the money you spend on your first bid package. You guys hear that rhyme? A 90-day guarantee. So the way Deal Dash works, open up the app. They have all these brand new items. iPads have sold for like $3,360. $3,400 coffee machines have sold for $74. All right, so for instance, say I want this Apple 24-inch iMac. I want to place a bid. Boom, now I'm up, I'm winning. Say that I need to play some bids, but also need to go run an errand or something, but I do wanna stay in the bid battle. Let me place nine bids on this Mac, and it's gonna bid for me. Okay, so it should automatically do it. Automatically. So you don't have to go in and manually do it. Nope. It's kinda nice. Yeah, that is. Huge thanks to Dale Dash for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna get in on the bid wars, you can use code AOFISH and get 100 free bids with the first bid pack purchase. Back to the itty bitty. We haven't really been talking about fiberglass a lot lately because I'm getting slightly bored with it. It's like all we talk about on the channel, but Tim has come around with his crew, filled in every old hole. There's old electrical outlets, old drains, old pieces of the boat that are no longer legal. A lot of the laws of the water have changed over the last 40 years, and this boat is a little antiquated, so we're bringing it up to traveling state laws. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna embark on the final stretch of fiberglass work. Thanks for coming to see what we've done, man. No problem. I really like that shirt. Thank you. So the fiberglass is still solid, it's intact. It's just the gel cut's worn down right here on the bow. So we're gonna fill this with that tough fill product, reshape it, get it back rounded like it should be, and then we'll wipe it off, clean it up, and put some gel coat on it. The gel coat will seal it up, make it waterproof, and then it'll be ready for the bottom paint. This product dries really quickly. Sand it down, then we'll be ready to put some gel coat on. Today is paint day, or the beginning of painting the bottom of the boat. I wanna keep the same color scheme, just cause I love the way that it came. Kinda of the own brand of the itty bitty, that red, white, and blue. We are about to start sanding the bottom of the old itty bitty. We're gonna hand sand it. Scared if I go electric or use a compressor, we could be going straight through the hole. It's gonna take some time, a lot of boat to sand. Taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, get it. Oh, gosh, I'm making it work. <laughs> It is really burning. I don't know what it is, but it burns worse than fiberglass. It's like in all my belly hair. It's like I got jock itch on my belly. It really is. It's the only comparable thing. I'm gonna go shower. Wow. And then Did we, you paint this too? It's gel coat. And then we squared in the other side, the other window. I've been working on the on the deck. Yeah. We put a board down here. I don't know if you noticed that. We've got that strong. Dang! Started gel cutting it. 
Good Lord. Uh, we got on the inside and started cutting out some of the board yeah. that were rotting and replacing them. And then we filled in some areas. I think we've stiffened up that wall over there where it was shaking so bad. That's really We're cool. getting down to the itty, nitty, bit, nitty gritty of the itty bitty. Is that how you would say it? Good gracious. About to drop a Tim mixtape. Now look what we did here. Wow. Yep. We put that cap back on and fiberglassed it in. Wow. And, uh, that is incredible. Holy smoke. We cut a hole out. We, we may have had this in the floor. I don't know for your, for your cables and wire oh, okay. come through. Yeah. This was a lot of work putting that back. No, I was about to say that looks remarkable that looks brand spanking new <laughs> i don't know why but this is oh, no, that's remarkable man kind of have chills i don't know why that's crazy i didn't know you've been working on it There's a lot of people that were wanting us to change the colors of the boat, but I feel like it would just be a wrong thing to do to, to the old girl. Something about the red, white, and blue just looks so good on her. Oh, yeah. Get on me. Yeah, you'll, uh, you'll definitely be wearing some blue here. Oh, my gosh, man. That's going to be beautiful. Oh, yeah. Let me get on that one. Mm, yeah. What's up, Gravy? Not much. Chill too, man. I'm just chilling. Chilling. Sure. What are you doing? Uh, not much. Not much at all. You sound down. You down? It's, no. It's a little tired, that's all. Want to come just, snuggle? Yeah, I do. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> See ya. See ya. What a man. That man can call you any day of the week and just put a smile on everybody's face. He's been taking a bunch of college courses. He's trying to graduate and I miss him like crazy. It has been roughly three weeks since we've been filming this video. I didn't want to upload another video saying, hey, we're at a standstill. So I waited. And today, the main objective, my father-in-law is in the back of the boat right now. We are going to be closing out where the back hatch used to be, make it a little bit more stable for big boys like myself. The main objective with the back deck, besides holding us up and not falling into the gas tank compartment, is closing it and sealing it so that the gas fumes don't come into the main cabin because that would suck. So while Keith is working on the back deck, I'm gonna touch up where the stands were beneath the boat. We got one more coat of paint to go on. We have successfully put the frame in. By we, I mean keep completely by myself with no help. But I did paint four squares, so pretty productive morning. Moving some. Nice. Before we get too happy, we still gotta get another one in this one. Doesn't look like much, but it's a lot better than it was. I think the hope is to put two hatches right above the gas tank and put some fancy batteries in there. Be partially solar in here. Coming together. Ooh. 
ladies and gentlemen, it has been too long. Too long, but exciting news. Five weeks later, the custom made itty bitty trailer has been completed. Come on, dude. She's girthy, she's thick. 10,000 pounds towing capacity? What's up? The cool thing about this trailer, besides other boat trailers, this one has custom bunks. So we can kind of set it between the lips on the hole of the boat. I don't know if you guys have noticed. We have a tri hole, really weird shaped hole, but there's lips all the way up and down the boat to help how the boat goes through the water. This is gonna let us move the bunks freely, fit it against the hole. We can also move these little brackets up and down if we need to lift the entire boat off the trailer more. <sighs> Dude, I'm just so excited. I'm out of breath, my heart's pounding. We finally have the means to move the itty bitty without risking all the money that we poured into the boat so far. And hopefully in two weeks, we're gonna load the boat up on this girthy, thick trailer and take it roughly five and a half hours to a yacht outfitter that's gonna put a crazy interior in the boat. Kinda feel like I've screwed up. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I feel like the kid whose parents just said, wait till Christmas. You're about to have the best Christmas of your life. Presents coming your way and you wake up to khakis. I've been there. Yeah, I did that to you guys and I'm sorry, but no more long pauses. The biggest long pause has taken place. We're headed to a place, hopefully, that will make up for my absence with this project update. And we have the means to move the boat now. Tim's gonna be so pumped. <sighs> Me and Tim just had a little powwow. We do not feel confident that the hole is gonna fit properly on these bunks. We got like an extra inch to lift the middle bunks. And I don't know if you guys remember the shape of the hole of the itty bitty, but She's deep, and these are shallow, so we'll see. I don't feel great. I don't feel great at all. I was so excited when I saw the trailer just because it looks so pristine, but the dip from this interior bunk to the bottom of the trailer is not very big i'd say that's six inches the actual boat itself i don't really see how that could carry this boat trailer is going to fit fine but the bunk height does not look good He said that it was going to naturally sit a little bit over the fender. How are you feeling seeing it like this in the back? Is it giving you hope or you think we're going to have to find some different brackets? I don't know man, it could fit. Yeah. Level it out. She's touching, isn't she? I think this is gonna have to be raised up as high as it'll go. Okay. And that one's gonna have to be probably three or four inches higher or longer. I think the solution is pretty simple. I think we just need some bigger brackets on the bottom of the bunks and maybe one more bunk. But yeah, this is not gonna work. Oh, dude, we are so close and I'm getting a little frustrated, but trying to keep the head up. We're coming up on a year of being in the fiberglass shop. I think this boat project started in September. So we've been working on it over a year. There's just a speed bump every 10 step we take. It's an absolute roller coaster. We had a high moment, then we realized the bumps were just not it. Text the guys, they're gonna come out here, look at it. We might add an additional bunk as well, just to raise it up over the fender. And if you can picture a trailer on a boat ramp, all the bunks are kind of at a 45 degree angle. And then if you have a bar up front that's already touching when the boat's flat, then it's just fiberglass bunk or no bunk. You know exactly what I'm saying. I'm done with the one month spaces between itty bitty updates. 
coming in hot and heavy. Hopefully in two weeks, we'll be headed down, outfit the interior, leave Tim's shop. Should be a good thing. I love you guys. Eddie Bitty's coming along. T-shirts are down below. Peace out.